This week, North Korea showed off its latest and largest nuclear missiles in a huge military parade. Some could potentially reach the U.S. There was also a possible glimpse into the country's future. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer reports from Seoul. Kim Jong-un, dictator and family man, brought his daughter and wife to the military parade, which featured more intercontinental ballistic missiles than ever before, designed to reach U.S. targets. In 2022, he ordered more than 90 missile launches, a record, and watched several personally. Also watching from just across the border in South Korea was U.S. Space Force with its satellites and powerful radar. Korea specific. Commander Actually, Josh McCullion. We're using overhead satellite systems to continuously monitor for an actual launch. Kim Jong-un has often attacked the U.S. with words, not, so far, with weapons. But just testing those weapons is plenty dangerous, as they can explode in flight. Last October, warning sirens sounded over northern Japan when a North Korean missile streaked overhead. An overflight of Japan, for example, always poses a huge risk, especially whenever you're developing a new system, as North Korea is often doing. Debris is a real danger. Debris is a real danger, for sure. Real enough that Japanese school children were put through a duck and cover exercise last fall. And then there's space debris. A re-entering satellite looks very similar to a re-entering missile. If the North Koreans mistook space junk like this burning up for an incoming U.S. missile, they could retaliate with lethal consequences. So the U.S. government puts out warnings and hopes North Korea is paying attention. Meanwhile, last night's parade is a not-so-subtle hint of what's in store for 2023. I think the pace is going to maintain or potentially increase. Pace of missile launches from North Korea. I just think it's gonna be a much busier year, but it's 100% why we're here. The U.S. and its allies will be scaling up their military exercises too in a region already so tense that the price of a mistake or miscalculation could be war. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Seoul.